say goodbye. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tyler here back with another video. I've took a break. Um it's it's nice to be back in a way. Just basically grinded for a whole year. Um most weekends, so that was basically my free time due to work. And it's doing it and then it just flies by us and then I just thought I wanted to take a break. Um also I'm on holiday soon, so I can't wait for that. This car man, I mate i actually cannot wait and i'm hoping in this journey for this car i'm hoping that you guys will enjoy it as well um because i'm just gonna go full out on this um it's a really good car to have um a lot of people over exaggerate on running these um for expense like it's not even that sad but like, i'm only 23 and I'm owning something like this and insurance and etc. But obviously I'm not going to be saying. But it's not bad at all as what people say. Um, drinkable wise, like obviously fuel. Every car's got that though. Yes, it was, some cars might have the miles per gallon. But at the end of the day, it all depends how you use it and how you rag it. Do you know what I mean? If you're going to keep ragging it, yeah, you're going to f your fuel gauge is going to keep going mad. But it's all about the fun, you know? So guys, so guys, this is the original uh, diffuser. Um, I can't believe I'm actually starting my first mod. As you can see, right, what we're gonna first do, as you can see already from my arm, it's kind of a dirty mess. Uh, right, so either, either side, yeah, literally in the corner, if I move my fingers, so you've got, so where is it? So first one is there which is going to be your 8 mil. this one's a bit rusty but 8 mil bolt and one in this corner which is there that corner will look where did I put it oh no oh it will look like this it's one of these clips oh if it focuses yeah, it's one of these you just push through so just pull it out and it's only two either side and i'm gonna see you're gonna watch me take this off straight after as well so yeah so let's get straight to it yes don't mock the sliders you know what i'm saying so yeah so each corner oh, i don't know why i'm in shorts but in each corner you should be able to just wiggle it out it's like so it should come off Wait for it. Should we go off? So, attempt to two, just like this. So, should come off like so. It's just clips. It's just clips. Like that. Snap it. Yeah, keep just keep following it like that. Keep and then once that side's done, then it's this side. Sorry, I should show you. Right. Nothing broken. There you go. And that there, guys, is your old diffuser, which I'll be taking off. 
So, I like I was saying to you, these ain't the original tips. And as you can tell, it might be a little bit dark, but this was done, this was done by Pipe Dynamics. And I'm telling you now, they've done an absolute good job on this welding. Like guys, just appreciate, like, look at that. Wait, if it, look at that welding. Holy shit. No, it's welded properly, mate. Do you know what? That is nice. No, I thought I'd show you because these ain't the originals, so. If anyone asked, it's not originals. Um, yeah, let's get straight to it. Right guys, obviously I've I've took the first one off, so I'm learning before I show videos. Right, basically, on these, they're not plug-in ones or anything, so I'm all new to this, um, so bear with me. Uh, right, behind it, obviously like I said with the diffuser, it's all clips, so it's easy to do. I do these type of videos due to the fact that it's just easy process of doing this. Um, but with these clips all you need to do is bring this back and then this little lever here you'll push that with a flathead or whatever you like object you've got push that in and then just underneath that you would lift and then it will just pull out and that's it. I'm trying to not scratch it um, this is the old one <laughs> but yeah as I was saying look because look, this is the one at the top so you're if it focuses it's a dirty job so you push that and then the big one that you got that little lever the focusing it's there so that you'll push that in and then and it'll ping out and then this one's a hook and you just literally just lift that one up and then it's off and that is an easy process so i'll show you how it works Oh, right guys so yeah so literally look you can use your finger for this one if you want so like ping that one out that one should come out and then get the one at the bottom which i said the bendy one you just want to lift and then push down so then it should slide just slide out like so and there you go so that's what holds it in so as a matter of fact just push this then push that then it should look like that. It'll come down and then you could just slide it out and then, and yeah. So now let's put on the new one. Guys, look at this, man. This is absolutely sexy. Uh, I know it's a common one, um, but oh, mate, look at that. I can't wait to fit this. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna basically do the process backwards basically. So this one, is gonna be like that like that like so which you're gonna get that and then same for the other side do the same process but i've heard that uh the clips don't fit uh so for example if i oh let me sit down i do not want to scratch this um See, all you fancy guys have got all nice bung, all nice places to do this. I'm still at my, my yard. So, yeah, so, see, look, apparently they don't fit. Um, they, they, we'll, we'll see. guys these are the originals that i've just taken off from the left side um so really like you've got these clips so these ones come on after so you can imagine when you have it like that you would want the top so you want the top to be the last to take out so you want to make your way across and then what it'll do it will just ping out like that and then you can just pull it um, 
so these are the three clips you've got so you've got one you've got the, the second one here and the third one's literally right in the middle but it's easy enough to do it's, it, it is easy um i'm trying to figure out where i threw my tool now i think i put it in my pocket i was using this this is a very handy tool to use um you can buy them anywhere halfords amazon it's better than flatheads and stuff because you start damaging stuff um i have got these from b7 performance um so I take that out of the packaging and this is my right side they look absolutely amazing um massive difference already just just in this and plus my diffuser which is a bit dirty but this car will definitely need a clean but let's get on with this one and then yeah go from there so what you want to do is get under this corner first which is going to be quite tight come on let me use the other side there you go that's one popped and then the second one is going to be around here yeah just be gentle and make your way around around it and you've got the one at the end there you go just feed it through start to to move its way around play with it and now once you lift it there you go there's no clips broke god it's it's manging manging i mean minging when you actually look inside, oh man, I should have just changed the indicators to swipe. Since I should have changed them to be fair. I oh, sod it. They put the put a new one on, which is all you do. Is get the. I say it's a bit simple. Put the corner into the inside, and then what you want to do. Let's push the top in first. If it fits, like so. And then just push it in. Just dirty after And there you have it. Mad. That looks mad. As long as it's all tucked in, though. Yeah, a bit OCD, me, man. But uh, looking, it's looking mint, man. Yeah, no, no it's sick. Especially the diffuser as well. The diffuser, diffuser, absolutely sick. I can't wait to physically build this, build this up. Look at that. Look at that, man. Oh, it's looking mental, bro. It's looking absolutely mental. Got ideas on the, on the actual wheels, but I'm not going to be saying. So, yeah. So the diffuser I've just done and the side mirrors um, there for now I've got more to come and I won't be saying um, 
I just want this build to be more secretly rather than just explaining to people what I'm doing. So yeah, so if you've got any ideas or any like, heads up on the BMs as I'm new to these uh, this type of error, hit me up, man. Um, I'm intrigued to see what other people have and what's like the best outcomes on the the 135s or the 140s, or just let me know what's the differences. I don't see. I've I haven't heard really there's a differences between the 140s and 135s, so I couldn't tell you. Um, but yeah, man, I can't, I can't wait to physically bang this right up. Um, also, actually, that's one thing I want to ask you guys. Let me know in the comments if you do own a 135 or 140, or you know someone that's got it. What is the best suspension droppage to have on these? Because I know the arse sits down once you launch it, so I don't want to go too much. Um, I just want that right fitment. So, yeah, just please let me know, and that would be great. Um, yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this uh, this video, and I'm glad to be back. Need to get my arse in gear, sort all this out. So, yeah, sorry about not dropping the video for so long. Uh, I think it's good. I think it's a good couple of months now. Yeah, a good couple of months. Uh, I've started a new job. Um, it's etc. So it's it's still like the reality <laughs> reality side. Uh, no, but yeah, no, it's great, man. Like I'm so gassed to have this car, as you saw from my first video when I first bought this. Um, yeah, no, it's fucking mad, man. It's mad. This car is quick compared to my ZTEC. So I only told you guys that this was, uh, my ZTEC was about 150 brake. Um, I've got a lot of research to do on this car because previously the guy that owned this said it was stage one. Um, and I asked the, uh, the dealer that I bought it off, what's it pushing? And he said to me 360, but then I look at it and I'm thinking, for a stage one, I don't think that's right. Because these, I'm pretty sure, the 140s, anything, anything I say relating to this video, just hit me up what I've said wrong or what I could be corrected by because obviously I'm new. But the 140s are 340 brake, I think. And then these are the 326. But then I don't think stage one would put this to 360. I thought it would be more because not more than the 140, obviously. But I've heard like some people getting like 400 brake in stage ones on the 140s, and I'm thinking, well, this shouldn't be at 360. Um, if it's the right amount, just let me know, just to make sure it is actually okay. But I'm gonna be going to my boys' uh, STX tunings, and I will be doing videos of dyno runs and making sure if this has actually been touched. Sorry, my phone went to emergency. It said told me to cool down. Uh, so yeah, so it's not really a big issue of it being touched and that because I can just redo it all um, and then start from fresh and then just making sure it's all like clean, fresh. Um, it's just all them little bits. So I'm not really too bothered, but I just want to know if it is pushing that amount. If it is, and then we still got to clear it anyway, so for my boys to remap it and all that. But watch out for the next video because I think my next video will be a special one, as in like the sound. I'm gonna do like the drive bys and that for my next video, so that'll be fucking sick. But yeah, so I'm glad I'm back. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace. <laughs>